Tops. Hey there, Tinkercad friends. I have got a couple lessons where I teach you how to make car wheels. And I've got axles that we can put in those car wheels, so I would like to add a car that some people can make in my classroom. Let's start by bringing out a cube, and I want you to take that cube, and we're going to build our car sitting up, but then we're going to change it later. Right now, I want you to make it 30 in this direction, and I want you to make it 50 in this direction. So that's the body of our car. Let's also click on the height, and let's change the height to 15. I'd like you to add a windshield to your car using the W commit key. Click on the top of your car and bring out the wedge to make a windshield. Now, this car is going to be facing this direction, so move it to the front. And then remember our block was 30 wide, so our wedge needs to be 30 wide. I'm going to look at it from the side. You can see that kind of looks like it. I'm going to take the front of it and I'm going to slope it just a little bit. And then I'm going to make the height instead of 20 high. I only want it to be 10 high for my windshield. I want those to be lined up, so I'm going to look at it from the back. I'm going to draw a large rectangle to select both. And I want to align those to the center. I'm going to press W to shut off my work plane. And I'm going to take a look at my car. So far, it's looking pretty good. Right now, though, I want to add a bumper to the front. I'm going to press W to click on the front. I'm going to take the round roof, and I'm going to stick it on there. I'm going to take that round roof and make sure I'm looking at it from the back or front, depending on how yours is set up. And then I want to rotate it 180 degrees. So I'm going to just click on the box and type 180. I'm sorry. I'm going to type 90 so that it rotates and looks more like a bumper. I'm going to stretch it out so that it's 30 across. And I know I also want that height to be 15. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. So now the front of my car looks pretty darn nifty. Double check on my measurements, make sure they look cool. With that same work plane, I'm going to cut out some headlights. Bring out a cylinder, and then this cylinder I want you to take, and on the corner I want you to make it 8, and press enter, and click 8, and press enter. And then we want to turn it into a hole, and we want to move one to the right side, and up a little bit. And then we're going to look at that from the front or back, depending on how you've got yours aligned. So get it so you're happy, and then do Control d to make two of them, and move the other one across so it's in a similar place. I'm pretty happy with that. You could make sure you're perfect by going right to the edge, and then going back the same number of clicks on each side. So I did three clicks. One, two, three. So now it should be the same on both sides of my car. And then with those... Uh, selected, I'm going to grab the entire bunch and I'm going to do group, which is right up on the top. And now I've got neat little headlights cut out of my car. I'm going to go to the back of my car and I'm going to add a cool fin. I'm going to add my fin with the wedge or the roof. I'm going to press W and put it on top. And then when I bring the roof out, it lines up just like that. I'm going to switch to a top view. I'm going to fit view to selection so it shows it well. And then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees using the tick marks. Stretch it out a little bit, make it so it fits exactly the same. Look at it from the side, so there's the combo side and there's the other side. And I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. And I'm pretty happy with my cool wedge. 
you could add taillights to the back of your car. You can add all kinds of cool things. But right now, the most important thing is for us to add our wheel holes. To do our wheel holes, we're going to hit W and we're going to click on the side. We're going to bring out that cylinder hole. And then we need to make this 4.5 enter and 4.5 enter. So it's 4.5 millimeters wide so that our axle can fit through it. Switch and look at our vehicle from the front or back. Take your pick. They both will work the same. Make sure that that axle stretches all the way through and pokes out on both sides. I need to pull mine a little further. So there, now I can see it poking out on both sides. And I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it down where I want my first wheel to go. So I'm making sure it's in the vehicle. And then I'm going to do Control D and I'm going to move one to the front. So now I've got room for those two awesome wheels I created. I'm going to cut out a little place for my people to sit. So I'm going to just make my work plane the top of my car. I'm going to bring out a box. Notice the box fits right in that gap. If not, I can shrink it a little bit. And then I'm going to just push the box in. Notice the numbers over here. I'm going to push it in 10 millimeters. I'm going to shut off my work plane. I'm going to grab those pieces right there. And I want to align them because I want that to be totally in the center. And now I'm going to grab everything in the design and group it. And there you have a nifty little car that we can add our cool wheels to. When you've got yours built like that, pat yourself on the back for being awesome. Name it Cool Car. And make sure you share it with me using the share button. Good job and I hope you had fun creating it. Zombie Apocalypse.